Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Shelly here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be filming a eyebrow tutorial. I have been promised you guys an updated eyebrow tutorial in so, 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 so long and I'm so sorry that it took me this long but we are here now, okay? So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I don't have anything at all on my face. My face is clean and dry and that's kind of one way that I love to do my brows because when you add moisture to your face, this area just tends to get very slippery and I don't like when my eyebrow products just move around because then it just messes up the whole process. If you guys like that, you could go ahead and moisturize your face first. I'm gonna to moisturize my face afterwards because that's just my personal preference so what I'm gonna do today which is really fun and I thought about it and I'm like yes I'm glad I thought about it so that I can do it for you guys I'm gonna do this side of my eyebrow on the high-end side of the spectrum and then I'm gonna do drugstore on this side so this eyebrow is gonna run you probably about 40 bucks for the products and then this side is probably gonna be about ten fifteen dollars max so that's what we're going to be doing today on this side um your options are you can use the um the mac studio fix concealer i have it in the shade nc 45 because it's the next shade lighter than my foundation my foundation shade is nc 50 in mac so i'm going to use nc 45 and this is my second one and look at this guys like i've used this thing so much i love it you can also use the nars one i haven't owned that one as yet but i plan to get it very very soon you can use the nars one as well a lot of people rave about it that it's really nice and i've used a bunch of stuff from nars and i love all of them so I'm almost guaranteed that that one is amazing as well so that's another option as know that I have the Anastasia dip wrap pomade but I'm not a pomade girl so that will not be in this tutorial if you guys like pomade then fine with me go ahead and use whatever you have but I do not care too much for dip brow pomades I just feel like it's a lot more work and I just don't want to deal with that my two favorite pencils on the high end side the first one is the Anastasia brow Wiz, and I use it in the shade dark brown mine's broke at the bottom the spoolie side but it does come with one end as a spoolie and then one end you get the product in and this is completely out you guys like not in a lift night it done so obviously i can't use this today because it's out but this is i love this stuff it's so good the next thing that i absolutely love is my mac eyebrow pencil in the color spike i have the skinny the skinny one and the thick one um I don't really like to use the thick one to carve out my brows, but I'll definitely use it to fill in my brows because these are the same thing. It's just the shape of the pencil is different. That triangular thing, it just does not work for me to outline my brows, so I just use it on the filling part. But um, I like to use this part to carve out my brows because it's very skinny and it just gives me hair like strokes and get the lines very nice and neat and then the brush to carve out my brows and clean it up is the morphe m432 brush um i would say that this is a drugstore kind of brush because it's very cheap it's probably less than five bucks so that is amazing um i know mac has one i know sigma has one because i had one from sigma but this is just the one that i'm going to use today because i don't want to deal with the other ones for the drugstore side of my brows there's three pencils that I absolutely love. The first one is the NYX Micro Bra Pencil. I use this in the shade Espresso and you guys know how much I love this eyebrow pencil. It's so good. The second one that I absolutely love is the Brow Stylist Definer from L'Oreal. I use this in the shade Brunette. Oh, this is literally like almost the same exact thing as this they're both amazing and then the third one that I just discovered that I absolutely love is this one from covergirl and it's in the color rich brown it looks like this and all three of these brush of these eyebrow pencils come with a spoolie this one as well come with a spoolie the Anastasia one and the thick one from Mac come with a spoolie but the thin one from Mac doesn't come with a spoolie so almost all of these brushes come with a spoolie so you don't even have to worry about a spoolie because you get it from any one of these so because i'm going to use the mac one today on this side i want to find a shade that is pretty close i don't want my brows to look completely different i'm going to use the 
um, CoverGirl and the MAC because they're almost the same exact color. Let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just use the spoolie on the MAC side and brush the hairs on my brows. And with the CoverGirl pencil, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now, my brows does not shape the same way. So they might look slightly different after I fill them in. I notice that every time that I do my brows. Oh, I forgot to mention to you guys that the concealers that you can use for the drugstore side is the LA Girl Pro Cream Highlight and Contour. This is amazing. I love this stuff. You can also use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. You can literally use any concealer you like, you guys. You don't have to um, use any specific concealer. But um, for me, I like a concealer that's a lot thicker than I would use like to highlight and stuff on my face. So this one from the Beauty Supply Store is called Lust Rare. You get a whole ton of products in here and I love this one as well. So any concealer in a pot that's a lot thicker, I like to use to clean up my brows. I don't like those watery concealer that move around. That's just not my thing. I'm going to start by doing the MAC side and what I do is just outline underneath my brows and you want to go as light handed as possible and stay in the shape of your brows so very light handed and staying in the shape of your brows underneath now I don't know if you guys can see that hopefully you guys can see that but that's what we have and then I'll do the same thing to the top and stay right there on the line of the hairs and fill it all the way like get the line all the way precise like that once you stay in the shape of your brows you don't have to worry about anything else and what I do sometimes when I'm lazy is just use the same pencil and just create hair like strokes right in the front of the brows because I take it out a little bit further closer to my nose. It just gives my nose a more sharper contour. And then you can use the same pencil to fill it in. Or if you don't want to use that pencil to fill it in, you can switch to this pencil from MAC and fill it in. And that's basically what I do for my brows. And then I'll go back in with the spoolie and just comb it out. Comb it out and leave it just like that. So if it looks sparse, you can continue to fill it in. But I like how it looks, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to go in with the next side. This is the CoverGirl side, and I'm going to use that on this side. on the pencil I'm not going too heavy-handed only because I just like my brows to look natural nowadays I used to like my brows to look very thick and heavy and I don't like that look anymore I kind of like my brows to you can see through my hairs you can see some sparse areas in my opinion it just looks a lot more natural so sometimes I'll just go in extremely light-handed. Other times, of course, my hand gets heavy and I might overfill in my brows, but I don't overfill in my brows too much. I try to just go very light-handed on the pencil, fill in the sparse area so it doesn't look too crazy. After I do that, I'll always go back with the spoolie and just brush the hairs upwards. I really like how that looks. It kind of looks feathered and I'll leave it like that because it looks super natural. Now, um, you can leave your brows like this if you do not like that clean up look, but 
in my opinion nothing makes the brows look nice than when they're clean like I love my brows to look extremely clean so I'm going to take the MAC Studio Fix Concealer first this is in the shade NC45 and I do have more than one of these brushes so I'm going to switch another brush on this side but what I'll do I like this flat brush because it just makes a clean slate underneath my brows I don't even like to talk when I'm doing this but um, it just makes a clean slate underneath my brows and it just gets it really clean, really precise, really nice. This brush also come angled. My sister loves to use the angled one but I don't like the angled one. That's just my personal preference. But yeah, I just love the flat one and that's basically how I clean up the underneath of my brows like underneath my brows nothing special some people like that lighter color underneath the bottom and then maybe like the same color as their foundation on top I don't like that I like both to be light on top and on the bottom that's just my personal preference so I use the same concealer to clean up the top of the brows And one thing that I love about concealer, it, it's going to be messy when you're doing it, but just take your time. If you guys are not pros, just take your time and practice. I promise you, like, you, one day you'll be doing this and not even know that it's you really doing your brows, like, this good. Because I was never good, like, really good at doing my brows. I just practice a lot. One thing that I like to do when I don't feel like I master something, I practice a lot. <music> Concealer might take away a little part um, of your eyebrows and what you could do is just go back in with the pencil and just carve that area back out and get that clean effect and that's basically what you're gonna get I'm gonna use this one from the beauty supply store because it's a lot thicker this one is from lust rare from the beauty supply store and it comes in a whole bunch of different shades you guys can choose the shade that you want but I have it in the shade light and that's what it looks like it's similar to the Mac but this one is a little bit more yellow and I'm just gonna use that to carve out and clean up this side of my brows yeah. Yeah. said you always want to go back and fill in anywhere that the concealer might have gotten into the shape that you want just to clean it up a bit you just go back in with your with your pencil and just fill it out and get it looking nice and neat blend it out with your fingers or a brush and that is basically it you guys as you guys can see there's I don't even see a difference at all in the color of the pencil the way that it performed there's not a difference the only difference that I can slightly see is that this concealer is a little bit more intense than this side but after you add your foundation concealer and all that stuff and just blend around this area I guarantee you you won't be able to tell that there's two different brows here so you guys don't have to go out and spend a whole ton of money just to get your brows to look this good you can go to the drugstore and 
in the beauty supply store and literally do your brows and get the same exact effect so hopefully this was helpful um I will go ahead and link and list all the products that I use in this video down below for you guys so that you guys um, can access them or that you can take a screenshot, go to the store and purchase whatever you want to purchase. I'll also leave whatever colors I use in the video in the description box down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And yeah, that's about it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.